Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster, and I wanted to show you an overlooked feature in Falcon. Many of us are already familiar with the program templates feature that was introduced in Falcon 3. When you open up Falcon, you get a startup screen that shows you a whole list of these program templates, and you can access them at any time up in Falcon's hamburger menu here. Uh, if you go to program templates, you can load them from this level. There's one problem, though. When you load these up, everything that you had in your patch from the program level on down is replaced. So all of your program level effects, any layers, any key groups, and all of the contents of that patch are essentially replaced. Um, but there's a way to use building blocks that are a little bit smaller so that you can build uh, patches in a composite way uh, more easily. So I'm going to undo the load that I just had. And I have a very simple uh, poly patch here right now. All right, nothing to write home about. Um, but this feature allows you to save just the key group level. So basically your key group, your effects and modulations, and your oscillator parameters in one block. And the way to access that is through the mapping level hamburger menu here. So if I open this up, I can save a key group template. Now, if you drift over this template and you don't see it light up, all it means is that your key group is not selected. So there are various ways that you can uh, that you can change that. One of the easy ways is go to the tree and open up your program, your layer, select your key group, and then select the mapping menu again. And you'll find that the save key group template now lights up. If you save key group template, uh, you can save those uh, it'll, in your user presets folder under key groups. And what you'll see here is I've made a subdirectory for the things that I create for my studio. And if I save this as, let's call this analog poly drive, great. Now, if I were to start over from scratch with a brand new patch, so I'm going to clear the multi and start over from scratch in this, uh, in this template, I can actually, without having to drag anything, I can go down to the hamburger menu, create a key group from my user template, analog poly drive, and you'll see that the key group is in here. And if I want to add more key groups, for example, if I had a, uh, another key group that I wanted to add in this layer, um, I could actually uh, uh, do that really easily. Again, going down to the mapping layer and saying key, create key group. I can either create the key group in the current layer or I can create it in a new layer. For example, adding this dinosaur pad, you'll find that now I've got two layers and two key groups with two different sounds in them. So this is a really easy way that you can create some building blocks for the type of patches that you often find yourself making and be able to recall them very quickly uh, and not have to worry about replacing effects or event processors or program level effects. So you can play around with all of those. And then if you decide after you've created part of your patch that you want to add another key group mapping, you can easily do that from your own user preset library. So I hope this helps you speed up your ability to create great patches with Falcon. I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon, and I'll see you next time.